Hi, I'm Dave Hillowitz. So this video is about mic preamps. Recording engineers have special, complicated feelings when it comes to mic preamps. Uh, there's such a thing as like a legendary preamp and people spend uh, a lot of time talking about it on Gearspace uh, and, um, you know, talking up specific uh, preamp inventors from the 70s and talking about the, the warm sound or the woolly sound of this or that preamp. All of this is uh, completely um, alien to me because I don't own a legendary preamp. I, I kind of assumed I never would because they tend to be super, super expensive. Well, in comes DIYRE, which is a local Philadelphia-based company that makes kits for building your own recording equipment. DIYRE was started by this guy named Peterson Goodwin, who I actually know in real life, I bump into him sometimes in Philly. And for the past 15 years or so, he's been taking apart these classic legendary preamps, figuring out what makes them tick, what gives them that unique sound, and then coming up with his own design based on the same principles. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be building one of his designs. Actually, I'm gonna be building two of his designs because I need two preamps, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. Um, yeah, let's get started. A box just arrived from DIY RE. It contains two CP5 preamps, two CTX color modules, as well as a 500 series rack case. I needed to get the case because this is my first piece of 500 series gear in the studio. As I open the box, I'm almost moved by the care that went into it all. The boxes are tidy and well-labeled, the fonts are all well-chosen. There's a friendly little card that tells me to look up the manual for the kits I purchased on the DIYRE website. Looking at all the little parts in the little bags and knowing I have to solder them all together, I'm a little terrified. In addition to the electronics kits, I also ordered a brand new soldering iron from DIYRE. The Radio Shack one I've been using for all these years just takes ages to warm up. So the CP5 preamps that I'm building aren't just regular preamps. DIY has this really clever system called Color. Color is a series of modules, like mini circuit boards, that plug into the larger preamp circuit. And each one gives the preamp a different sound. You can choose from like 10 or 15 different circuit designs. There's one that has a similar architecture to a Neve console. There's a, a bunch of different ones. There's even one that mimics uh, the circuitry inside a vintage four track recorder. I went with the CTX module, which is what Peterson said was his personal favorite. Before I get started on the main preamp build, I'm going to build my color modules. DIY RE has great, easy to follow instructions. The circuit board itself is also really well labeled. All told, this piece took me 30 minutes. It turns out that having a decent soldering iron makes a huge difference. I'm really encouraged by how easy that was. Tonight, I'm going to build the 500 series case. I want it to be ready so that when I finish the preamps, I can just pop them in and feel a sense of achievement. Okay, now onto the main preamps. One of the key parts of putting together these DIY RE kits is these part sorting sheets. Basically, they're these PDFs that you print out. You're then supposed to dump all of your components out onto the counter and match them up with a sheet so that you'll know what everything is. Resistors are the hardest to identify. They all look pretty much identical, except for these tiny bands of color around their waists. The colors themselves are already really hard to identify, and to make things even more challenging, my printer is on the fritz, so it's printing everything with only red ink. Once all of these parts are on the sheet, I bend the leads on each one, thread them through the holes in the circuit board, and solder them. Once that's done, I move on to the capacitors. Next, it's time to work on the switches and knobs. This is the stuff that excites me the most because it's the part I'm actually gonna be interacting with. Some of these actually go on a secondary circuit board that sits on top of the main one. And next comes probably the most exciting part of the whole build, uh, and that's adding the front panels.
it's actually starting to look like a piece of studio gear now. We're getting close. The next order of business is to pop those color modules in. Here's what the boards look like now that they have their color modules in. The color module is that red thing. Let's pop these in their case and give them a spin. Okay, so I've got the thing plugged in and I had to do like a round of uh, troubleshooting, but it's fully operational now. And as far as I can tell, it sounds great. Each channel has a gain knob, a switch for turning on phantom power, a 20 decibel pad switch, a switch for reversing the polarity, and a switch for turning on the color functionality. So I can dial in the exact amount of signal that's gonna get sent to that red color module that I installed. Depending on which color module you install, the LED actually glows a different color, so that's pretty cool. I, of course, bought this thing with the intent of using it for recording samples, uh, for making sample libraries, but uh, I've been working on a vocal song for the past few weeks, and I figured now would be a great time to give this thing a spin to, like, sing through the mics and, uh, yeah, just see how it sounds. So yeah, I uh, couldn't be happier with how this preamp is sounding. Um, if you enjoyed the song that I was just singing, uh, by the time I release this video, there should be a link to Bandcamp where you can uh, purchase the song for one American dollars. Um, if you enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you could hit like. And if you haven't done so already, now is a great time to subscribe. I've got like a ton of videos on the way. So um, definitely do that so you can be notified when I make some. Uh, and also, you're supposed to click the little bell. I, I never do. I don't really know. Does, but apparently it's a thing. Um, okay, yeah, see you next time. Yeah.